ATN Thomas, Director of Athletics. Hello, Associate AD for Operations and Facilities, April Reed. Yeah, oh, there we go. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, um, so we are a couple days out from the Dr. C. Smith game, which is the fourth home game of the season, uh, but it's a special game with, with television. Um, AD, talk about, um, you know, what this means for the university, and then, uh, and then April will, will uh, follow up with kind of what, you know, what, what, fans need to expect when they're coming into the state. Absolutely, Gaither, and always appreciate the opportunity to talk about Winston-Salem State University and WSSU Athletics. This weekend will be our first HBCU Go game uh, this season at home. So excited to have them here on site at Bowman Gray Stadium as we go into this so important uh, game that has become a classic of sorts as you talk about the HBCU world and we'll take on Johnson C. Smith, but really an opportunity to also celebrate our senior class and also to celebrate and, and shine a light on breast cancer awareness and prevention. So we'll do all those things this weekend as we come back home here and we'll finish up the season at home with these last two games. But we need our fans to come and support Coach Massey and the team. They've worked so hard this season to make the Ram family proud, to make sure that we protect the legacy and that they can see the progress, they can see the movement, they can see the investment that we've made in the program, but also in the well-being of the student athletes to allow them to play at the highest level um, and to bring back that excitement from those who are Hall of Famers, those who played in these same jerseys in Bowman Gray Stadium. And we need the support. Um, we're making a great environment and we need everybody inside the stadium to come and support and make sure that we bring home the victory and protect home home field advantage. Yeah, you just talk about really quickly how important for that TV, the importance of a TV game, uh, you know, for you guys. Obviously, the ACC is building. It's a new situation for the Seattle Athletic. This is year two. Um, first game you guys had. Just how big that is, uh, that platform is for you guys to be able to do um, for the university. Well, as you sat me next to April Reed, um, she wants to make sure that we are not only packed on the home side, but the visitor side. The TV angle is the visitor side. So that's so critical when they put in camera placement. We know that the Rams will pack the stands where we like to sit on our home side, next to the band, next to the student section, making sure we're st standing behind our team. We also want to make sure we fill that entire bowl. So it's great if we see some sprinkles of blue here and there, but we need to see red and white all throughout this entire horseshoe. And that is so critical inside the stadium that we have a great showing for TV because that's how we get selected in future years to be a TV game. It is not just automatic. Every uh, team in the CIAA does not get a TV game at home. And so it's important that we have a great showing on TV that we show up and we show out and show them who we are as a Ram family. April, uh, you know, talk to us about this game, you know, the preparations for it, obviously. There's a lot going on. I think you got, I think there is an open house. I think there is also the cheer. Just talk to us about Saturday uh, from a logistics standpoint and what you guys have going on and, and what folks need to know be prepared for. Oh, yes. Yeah. So this game will be very exciting. Um, we're needing at least 10,000 people in the stands. We do have open house that will be here that once they finish their tours on campus, they will have the opportunity to come here and experience a home game. So definitely want everyone to come out so they can see what a Ram game atmosphere is truly about. We will also have our cheer block party. Last I checked, we're looking at around 500 high school and middle school cheerleaders that's going to come here and assist the cheer um, squad of red and white powerhouse along the track. They will cheer the first half, and then of course they'll get to go up in the stands and actually enjoy the game as well. It's also senior day as A.D. Thomas stated, and it is our pink game. So with your red and white, definitely feel free to wear some pink as well. We'll have some pink ribbons to give out to our um, fans that come as well. So with that being stated, because of how the stadium is uh, seated and how A.D. Thomas just mentioned as well, we will have we are asking everybody to sit on the home and away side. We're going to actually block off the curve of the stadium to ensure that that TV angle shows the real Ram pride that we have here to have those people there. So feel free to see either on the home or the wayside. If indeed we do get packed out more, we will open up the middle of the bowl to allow our fans to sit there as well. So you want to open up the bowl? Just Definitely. Not the just not at the beginning, but I will open up the bowl if necessary, which we will make it necessary. I have to say.